516 Mohawk. Nice curb appeal. This is your drawback. Right here at this bridge on Mohawk and all the sewer stuff right here in your side yard. So it is an original owner, built in 06. There's no lights on, it's a little dark in here. It is owner occupied. You walk in, it's got nice character, interesting lights. That's gonna be your master suite. This is just the slider out. That's all the kitchen family room, which they've opened it up a little bit. And then this is formal dining room and they've done chair rail and picture framing here. Nice window out. And there's stuff. So looking back to the front door, you do have a transom. Much nicer. <laughs> yeah. Tiles on the diagonal. Nice big island that is chair height that you like, Sue. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like those, yeah. And this is another slider back out. This reminds me of the German house a little bit. The, the layout. Mm-hmm. They've just had opened this wall up here. Mm -hmm. Which I like, yeah. Yeah, this is nice granite. Laundry room. Pantry. Out to the garage. This is, oh, it's full. Okay. It's full. The air conditioner is recessed up in the ceiling now. I know Kirk likes tile on the diagonal. Interesting ceiling. Well, this is looking oh, back to the front door from here. So it is essentially all open. Um, this is a big family. Yeah, they've got fancy painted stuff. Tray ceiling with your crown and your picture frames on the wall. Now here's the nice big water. So you got this window looking out to the water from the family room. This reminds us of the German house. Mm -hmm. And it does have a captain's walk and boat lift. And let's go outside real quick before it starts raining. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got this sunny area here. Looks like they've done a little work around the coping of the pool, but the pool surface itself appears to be good. This is your under truss area. So that was living room when we came in. That's now that kitchen area, family room area. So you do have nice big yard. This is the only thing is you're going to hear all this traffic on this Mohawk. Now at nighttime, there's probably not much traffic. It's mo mainly daytime. And you do have water spilling out through here. So this is the end of the salt water. But I mean, you see people with boats up and down the canal. So looking back. Nice again, nice big yard and it's a corner lot and I would definitely get rid of that mangrove. Let's go back inside. Um, the roof is new, I believe. I wrote everything down. Like I said, original owner from 06, built in 06. So, you know, they've had just a little drywall fix, but they've got all this, you know, custom painted things. Uh, laminate flooring in here in the guest bedroom. Big furniture. I mean, like, that's a big piece. It's, they've got it stuff jammed in here. They did a taller bath vanity with Formica. Tub shower combo with tile. Laminate flooring for bedroom here. That's a king bed with nightstands. So this shows you how big this guest bedroom is. And there's a pocket door here that shuts off this to make it a separate suite per se. Let's go back and look at cabinets. These are nice wood cabinets. So most definitely 
not soft closed, that's okay. It's got some nice stone backsplash. The granite is beautiful. This is looking back from this way with your sink and your island. This is by far the best property we've seen in this price range. Let me look at my notes one more time. Um, AC was in 15. Oh, original owner. It says original roof, but it looks good. 06, I guess it's 14 years old. This is a flood zone. You this heavy furniture and you can yeah. this whole place up. Yeah. You know, Oh, we wall. have mauve and purple in here. Hmm. Got some tile floor again. Yeah, there's a lot of furniture here. This is your slider out from your bedroom, so you do have a nice view from your bedroom. Looking back, king bed, two nightstands, a desk, a dresser, a wardrobe. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. Walk-in closet. And then this, this is a clothes. pocket door. Yeah, that's yeah. Susie's clothes, Kirk. Oh, like. <laughs> yeah. This is a water closet without a door. You know, the soaking tub. Which Double vanities. Cabinets are all nice. Higher. And then the walk-in shower. So. Small. I mean, it's not huge, the but... You guys aren't huge people, so you don't need a huge shower, I guess. Alrighty, I'll make one more pass out through the living room because this is by far the best property. These are glass uh, French doors with some curtains on them. Yeah, again. Definitely light and bright. They've got all the blinds pulled for whatever reason, and I don't have any lights on, but yeah. I think this, this is nice. what you're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. And you try this wall off. Yeah. You can make this. And the corner way. lot with all the water, you can see water from all every window. Um, this is what you're looking for, and it's definitely priced right. Day one on the market. So let me know when you have a chance to review. Thank you.